Debbie just got the worst news of her life, look what the FBI just found after she thought it was destroyed. It's now being reported that the FBI has actively seized smashed hard drives from former Democrat Party Chair Debbie Wasserman Schultz's IT administrator who is currently under arrest. Awan is a Muslim Pakistani national who, along with his two brothers Abed and Jamal, was hired to do IT work for multiple Democrat members of Congress. The brothers managed IT services for several Democrat representatives including members of the House Committee on Foreign Affairs. But Awan and three of his relatives are now under criminal investigation for serious violation on the House IT network. They had access to the emails of more than two dozen House Democrats via their IT roles in order to gather information to sell to whoever wanted it. But this summer Ram Ran Awan abruptly picked up and moved out of his longtime home, following the February revelation of a criminal investigation into his and his family's conduct when it came to the handling of sensitive information stored on congressional servers. Before leaving Awan rented his home out to a military couple. His tenants, a Marine Corps veteran man married to a Navy officer woman, said the Awan family were desperate to rent the home out and left in a huge hurry. He went on to say that he found wireless routers, laptops and hard multiple hard drives, which look to be government issue and look like they tried to destroy, laptops which the Marine says he has now turned over to authorities. The Epic Time reports. Congressman explains case around Democrats and Awan brothers. A criminal case around a Pakistani information technology worker tied to former Democratic Party leader, Rep. W. Wasserman Schultz, DFL, is expanding into a case of corruption that may involve Democrat officials, fraud, and blackmail, and other potential crimes. During an October 10 meeting between experts on the case and four Congressional House members, which was live-streamed, Rep. Scott Perry, RPA explained some of the history of the case, noting that some parts still don't fit together. The problem is a proper investigation into the series of events doesn't seem to be taking place, he said. I think many Americans feel the same way. In 2016, the Inspector General of the House, OIG, tracked the network usage of the information technology worker, Imran A1, and his associates and found that a massive amount of data was flowing from the networks, Perry said. Over 5,700 logins by the 5A1 associates were discovered on a single server within the House, said Perry, and that server belonged to then-Democratic Rep. Xavier Batchera, who is now Attorney General in California. Of those logins, Perry said, 5,400 appear unauthorized. He cited reports saying that Attorney General Becerra's server was actually housing the entirety of the servers of all the member offices that employed Amron or his associates. All of it. The entirety. Perry added, it's a clear violation of House policy. This would also mean, he notes, that up to 40 or more members of Congress had all of their data moved out of their office server or out of their cloud storage system and onto the BASAR server without their knowledge or consent. The Daily Caller reported in September that congressional technology aides feared that someone was using the data on Congress members for blackmail. It quoted Pat Soares, who has managed IT for several House offices for 12 years, stating, I don't know what they have, but they have something on someone. It's been months at this point, and there had not yet been any arrests. In late September and early October of 2016, the House OI Group reported its findings to the Speaker's office, to Democratic leadership, to the Committee on House Administration, and to the House Sergeant at Arms and Capitol Police. The Capitol Police then began a criminal investigation into Imran Awan and his associates. Perry said Capitol Police required Awan to provide them with a copy of the Basara server, and determined he provided them with a falsified image likely with deliberate attempt to conceal the activities that they knew were against House policy and the law. These facts, standing alone, indicate a substantial security threat, at the least, but the events don't end there, Perry said. Then the case got even more strange. At midnight on April 6, a laptop and bag were found in a phone booth in the Rayburn House office building in Washington and Capitol Police found its contents were linked to Awan and other U.S. officials. Perry cited the police report, 
stating the bag contained a Pakistani ID card with the name Muhammad Ashraf A1, a copy of a driver's license with the name Imran A1, and a copy of the front and back of A1's congressional ID card. The Apple laptop, meanwhile, had the home screen initials of Rep DWS, which led some to believe it was tied to Rep. W. Wasserman Schultz. A video was released in May of Wasserman Schultz threatening the chief of police that there would be consequences if he didn't hand over the laptop. Perry noted that despite the threat of consequences to the police chief, the police did not return the equipment and the police continued their investigation of the computer. He added that Rep. Wasserman Schultz has hired an attorney to represent her interests in the matter. In addition to the laptop and the ID information, the recovered bag also contained, according to Perry, handwritten notes saying attorney-client privilege and possibly discussing case details, as well as loose letters addressed to the U.S. Attorney of D.C., the District of Columbia, discussing the apparent owner of the bag being investigated. Perry noted that the bag was recovered after Awen was banned from accessing the House Information Technology Network, but not before he was ultimately fired from Rep. Wasserman Schultz. Capitol Police, he notes, banned Imran Awen and his associates from the network on February 2, and when the investigation started, Wasserman Schultz then fired Awen on July 25 after learning about his arrest. Rep. Louis Gohmert, RTX noted during the October 10 hearing that Imran Awan is now under indictment for a bank fraud case, but noted he and his associates are concerned that other crimes may have been committed. Imran Awan and his wife Hina Alvi Awan were indicted on August 17 on four counts that are largely unrelated to the information technology scandal. Their charges include bank fraud for trying to obtain home equity loans and transferring the money to Pakistan. Now here is the issue that really should be bothering everyone. Who is Debbie Blabbermouth Schultz protecting this these people tooth and nail? What do they know that she doesn't want the rest of us to find out? What was on those hard drives that warranted that they be physically destroyed instead of just bleached like crooked Hillary Clinton did with her email servers?